morning, it's Lawrence from Boating New Zealand and today we're on the new Bavaria E40 sedan. She has been voted the European Power Boat of the Year for 2017. She's certainly unusual. I think one of the most interesting aspects of this boat is this helm station. Traditionally, of course, uh, you'd have your helm station up on the starboard side. There are two important benefits of having it here. One is this unbelievable view and it's particularly useful when you're coming in to this tight berth and it gives you a very nice view of where things are. The second part, this bulkhead behind me is a one which withdraws completely. So the interaction between uh, people in the cockpit and this helmsman is a very easy one. She's a very easy boat to drive and the Sea Star hydraulic steering is particularly light. And I would describe it as a boat that you want to savour the journey rather than rushing to get anywhere in a great hurry. This boat also has extra fridges. We've got the wine chiller down here under the starboard city. You've also got one up here into the kitchen bench top. Nice deep easy access locker. And there's a third fridge down here tucked under the stairs leading down to the engine room. Uh, the E40 is available in a number of different configurations. This particular one is set up with two aft cabins. You can actually have this one large master suite. The current configuration though has got uh, two almost identical double berths. This one's a little larger in terms of the hanging locker, but uh, they are very spacious and very comfortable cabins. The E40 can be equipped with three different engines. This particular one has got the 300 horsepower D4 Volvo. The other options are a 75 horsepower and a 150 horsepower. I think for New Zealand conditions, the 300 horsepower is probably the logical engine to go for. She's a displacement hull, top speed about 14 knots, cruising speed 9, 9.5, nine doing 2,500 RPM. Very comfortable, very easy engine for powering this vessel in our waters. Here we are in the four peaks, a very large, comfortable area. I particularly like this double bed. And a nice feature uh, are the hanging lockers, the his and her hanging lockers either side. It's also configured with a separate bathroom and shower uh, just aft of it. So it does mean uh, you can have people showering and using the loo uh, at the same time. It's great. One thing Bavaria has excelled at uh, with this model is they've managed to squeeze lockers into all sorts of places. A good example is this uh, locker underneath these stairs leading down to the forepeak. There's easy access to two large water tanks in there, but there's plenty of space for packing all sorts of things uh, in there in addition to that. I'm not a particularly uh, enthusiastic chef, but this is a very nice galley in which to work, particularly with this enormous wide windows give you such a fantastic vista out over the side of the vessel. But for people that do enjoy cooking, I mean, you've got a two burner cooker here, two little sinks, one for rinsing, and then down below a gas oven, and uh, over here on this side a microwave. There's no inverter on this boat, I guess you could have one fitted but certainly when you have shore power plugged in, uh, your microwave is good to go. The saloon table is also unusual in that it's much further forward where you would traditionally find a, a saloon table and that's a function of where that helm station is. But it's a very spacious area, very easy access from the galley and you could sit six people around you fairly comfortably. The electrics on the boat are always particularly well done by Bavaria. Uh, this control panel over here tells you exactly what the various systems are doing. The foredeck of this vessel is a good place for relaxing and sunbathing. Uh, this whole area gets transformed into a sort of a sunbed with two large cushions. Plenty of room to relax here in the cockpit of the Bavaria E40. Uh, lots of city space and a good place to have a party. She's an unusual boat. As I say, the helm position is something I've not come across before. She's not the fastest boat. She's a displacement hull after all. But it's a very comfortable vessel for getting to places uh, in style and comfort. Uh, I think uh, most people that are looking for a slightly more relaxed pace of life will enjoy this vessel immensely.
John Acklesome from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.